Hello everybody! In this video I will tell you how to start and use one of Windows tools – Run. We will also have a look at some of its main and most often used commands. The tool Run integrated into Windows provides alternative ways to quickly access programs, folders, documents and other system resources. If you know a corresponding command, of course. This tool is often used to tune and use computers, which we often mentioned in our previous videos. There are three ways to start the Run tool. The most popular method for advanced users is to do it by pressing Windows plus R. That is why this tool is often called Win plus R or Windows plus R menu. It is a convenient method, as it works with all versions of Windows. For a never user in Windows 8 or 10, the usual method to start this tool is by right-clicking on the Start – Run. You can also start the Run tool with Search Windows. Click on Search Windows and enter Run. Click on the shortcut that the system offers and the tool starts. This method works in Windows 7 as well. This tool is easy to use. Start it using one of the described methods and enter the command into the field Open. All commands are in English. For example, you can see the version of the operating system installed on the computer by entering the command win were OK. Talking of commands used in the tool Run, there are lots of them. They can help you start programs, open folders, start other Windows tools, as well as go to different settings of your operating system. As a rule, many programs can be started by entering the application name. For example, Opera, Chrome, Excel, and so on. However, not all commands are so easy to guess. For example, to open Word, you should enter the command WinWord. To learn commands to start your applications, use the trial and error method. However, you will find uh, a list containing main commands for Windows Plus R tool in the description. The situation with opening folders is about the same. For example, in, in order to open this PC, enter the command Explorer. The command %appData% opens the folder with the data of applications installed on this computer. The command Documents opens the folder Documents, the command Downloads opens the folder Downloads, and so on. Still, the main value of this tool is in quick access to administrative tools and settings in Windows. Let's try to enumerate and show the most essential ones. Regedit – the most well-known and frequently used command that opens Registry Editor. MSConfig – it shows you the system configuration, startup items and Windows services. This is where you can choose from the three types of starting the operating system – Normal Startup, Diagnostic Startup and Selective Startup. In the Boot tab, you can select Save Boot options. Find the link to our video about Save Booting Windows in the description. You can also select the default operating system if you have several systems installed on one computer. Go to our channel to watch a video about installing two operating systems on one computer. CMD – it launches the command prompt. You can watch a video about starting command prompt and its main commands in our channel. GPEdit MSC – this command starts local group policy editor. It can help you to set up and change a number of settings in your computer, set restrictions for users, prohibit starting or installing programs, turn operating system functions on or off, and do many other things. Services MSC – this command starts a control panel to manage the services of your computer. Control. It opens Control Panel. This command became popular after the release of Windows 10 Creators Update, which lost access to Control Panel from the Start menu. Find the link to the video on opening Control Panel or restoring it to the Start menu in the description. AppWiz CPL – quick access to Programs and Features menu, which was also removed from the Start menu in Windows 10 Creators Update. MS Info 32 – it starts System Information, a convenient tool for administrators and advanced users. DXDiag 
DirectX diagnostic tool, which will help you to learn your DirectX version as well as the system information, a must-have for gamers, and so on. As I have already said, with the Run tool you can start almost any application or open a folder or the settings menu. That is why there are so many commands for it. I believe I have shown the main commands here. I'd like to remind you once more that you can find a list containing most of commands for Windows Plus R tool in the description. That is all for now. If you found this video useful, click the like button below and subscribe to our channel to see more. Thank you for watching and good luck!